Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's create the sequence base in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. So this is my sequence base and I have used two separate quilts to create this design pattern. So the overall idea is to create these two quilts. So if you are done with these two quilts, you are almost done. And at last, you can go with a revolve cut to complete this part. Or you can even go with the cell feature to complete the part. So when you sell it, you get the inform thickness all around which can be used for 3D printing. So let's create this part from the beginning and for that first you go to new, part, solid, assign the proper name and say ok. Now first you create this sketch. And for this, you go to sketch onto the front datum plane, sketch, normal, switch off all the datums. Now you first draw a datum center line somewhere here. Then using spline, you draw the sketch profile. Now all the dimensions are in mm. Now assign the dimensions, so this is 20, this is 25, this is 100, now add dimensions for these locations, so this is 80 and this is 60. This is 90 and this is 27.5. So the sketch is done. Now say OK. Switch on the datums. Now you go for revolve, change to surface, then revolve the sketch. And this is just for 10 degree and you say ok. So I have created a quilt with 10 degree. Now I will create the pattern sketch. So once again go to sketch, select the right datum plane and say sketch, normal. Go to sketch setup, flip it and top you make it top, sketch, switch off the datums. Now you go for reference and select this reference, now draw the sketch and my sketch will be as per this sketch. Now one more time you go to sketch setup. And this time, once again click on flip and say sketch. So this is the orientation I want. Now draw a center line first. Just like this. Now this gap is 1.5. Now draw two more center lines. One is here and another one is here. Now this gap is 5. 
and this side this gap is also 5. Now draw the sketch using spline. So start your sketch from here this location then click somewhere here then click on this center line then again this side then again on this center line then this side and then you finish at this point. Now add the dimension. So first you make this spline normal to this center line and for that select this, this and then this point and place the dimension. This you make it 90 degree. Similarly this side first you click this, this then this point and then place the dimension make it 90 degree. Now from this point till here this is 30 then from this point till this point this is 35. Now this side so from here till here this is 15 then from here till here this is 47.5. Then from here till here this is 82.5. Now the gap. So this gap is 5, this is 5.5 and this is 3. So all the dimensions are done. Now the idea is to keep this gap 1.5 so that when I offset this sketch this side by 1 still I will have 0.5 gap here then I will mirror this sketch this side so 0.5 plus 0.5 totally I will have 1 mm gap this side approximate it should have 0.5 mm gap so as per that you need to assign the dimension. Now once this is done, you just hide your dimension and the constraint, then you go for offset, select this spline and offset in this direction. So write minus 1 if the arrow is in opposite direction, close it, switch on the dimensions. Now this 0.5 you make it strong. And this side also 0.5 we make it strong. Now the sketch is done. Now just say OK. So this is the sketch I have created. Now this sketch I will project onto this surface. So go to project, reference, select the sketch first. So this and this you select both then go for surface select this surface. Now for the direction switch on your datum plane and click here and select this datum plane. So your sketch is getting projected. Now you say ok. So sketch got projected. Now select this project, go for mirror and select this datum plane, say ok. Now for the time being hide this sketch and hide this surface also. Now you just switch on your center axis, 
Now create a new datum plane, select the center axis, hold the control key and select this datum plane. So create this datum plane with 10 degree angle and say ok. Then you go for mirror 1, mirror and select this newly created datum plane. Say ok. Now switch off your datums. So this is the curve you have generated, this is a projected curve. Now using this curve, I will create that quilt and for that go to boundary blend, select this inner curve, hold the control key and then select this inner curve. Now here you have this yellow dot, right click and say normal. Here also right click and say normal. So you are getting that quilt. Now to increase this depth, go to constants, select this and here you make the value 2. Same thing with this, make the value 2. Now see the preview, you are getting the proper depth. Say OK. Same procedure, you follow one more time, go to boundary blend and this time you select this curve, hold the control key and select this curve. Go to constant, this you make it normal, this also you make it normal, value make it 2 and for this also you make it 2. Say OK. So you have created two quilts. Now just switch on the first sketch and go for revolve onto front datum plane. Normal. Go for project and project the first sketch. Draw the datum center line here, then close the sketch, just like this. Do this carefully, now I say ok and ok. So you added the solid material, now using these two quilts I will create the pattern but before this first you go for offset, so select this surface, go for offset, solid material, flip this direction, this value you take 5, hold the control key and then you select this surface also. 5 this side and say ok. So when you move the surface down, this quilt comes out which is necessary for time being. Now I will go with this quilt, solidify, remove material, flip the direction and say ok. Same thing with this quilt. Certify, remove material, flip the direction, say ok. Now I will hide this all Now select the surface, go for pattern, geometry pattern, go for axis pattern, Switch on the center axis, select this axis. Now pattern it throughout 360 degree. Now the number of item, so if you have taken this angle 10 and this angle 10, 
that means it is totally 20 degree. So, 360 divided by 20 will be 18 and say ok. Wait for some time, it will take some time. And you got this nice pattern. Same thing you do with this, select the surface, go for geometry pattern, axis pattern, select this axis, 18 item, 360 degree and say ok. And your pattern is created. Now you can move this face up using offset, go with solid offset 5, hold the control key and select this face also. So, both the side 5, now you say ok. Now, once this is done, add some round make this 5 and say ok same thing you do this side go for round select this surface hold the control key and select this surface now, this value make it 10 and you say ok. So, the part is almost done. Now, to create the inform thickness, I will go to cell. Thickness, I will take 1. I will select this face to open it and say ok. And the sequence ways is created. You understood all the process. So, that is it from this video. So, this is how we create sequence ways in Creo parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now, you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.